How many times have you felt emotionally shaken by situations that are beyond your control? Or maybe you've found yourself frustrated, realizing that no matter how hard you try, things just don't go the way you planned. In today's world, we're constantly bombarded with challenges, uncertainties, and intense emotions. But what if I told you that nearly 2,000 years ago, the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius wrote lessons that are still relevant today for building emotional resilience? In a world that demands quick responses, where we're always connected, we often feel disconnected from ourselves. We lose the ability to stay resilient in the face of adversity, and our minds become overwhelmed with worries. So, what should we do when we feel like we're on the verge of an emotional breakdown? The answer might lie in the reflections of Rome's greatest philosopher emperor. Today, we're going to dive into Marcus Aurelius's teachings on emotional resilience, exploring how his philosophical principles can help us deal with the challenges of modern life. I'll be sharing with you some practical strategies based on Stoicism that can transform how you handle your emotions, adversity, and most importantly, how you relate to yourself. Who was Marcus Aurelius? Before we delve into Marcus Aurelius's teachings on emotional resilience, it's important to understand who he was. Marcus Aurelius wasn't just the emperor of Rome. He was a deeply philosophical thinker, heavily influenced by Stoicism. His reign was marked by significant challenges, wars, plagues, and political intrigue. Despite all of this, he maintained a calm mind and a resilient attitude in the face of adversity. His most profound thoughts were captured in his work Meditations, a series of personal reflections he wrote for himself, never intending to publish them. These reflections are an invaluable treasure of Stoic wisdom, and one of the central lessons is about how to remain calm and emotionally resilient during tough times. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Marcus Aurelius In today's world, we face similar challenges, even if they're on a different scale. We may not be on a literal battlefield as he was, but we fight emotional battles every day. Unemployment, breakups, mental health crises, each of us has our own struggles. And what Marcus Aurelius taught us about controlling our mind and perspective could be the key to overcoming the challenges we face today. Emotional resilience is a powerful concept. It refers to the ability to bounce back quickly from difficult situations. It's not just about withstanding the impact of problems, but also about how we get back up and move forward when life knocks us down. We all face hardships, whether they're big or small. Some may come in the form of daily stress, like work or personal relationships, while others may be major crises, like losing a loved one or facing financial setbacks. What separates those who can handle these difficulties in a healthy way from those who crumble under pressure is, to a large extent, emotional resilience. Resilient people are able to maintain a clearer perspective, preventing despair or frustration from completely taking over. They don't avoid negative emotions, but they know how to process them and move on. And this is where Stoic philosophy, especially Marcus Aurelius's teachings, offers valuable guidance. In Stoicism, Marcus Aurelius teaches us that while we can't control external events, we can control how we react to them. He states that suffering often doesn't come from what happens to us, but from how we interpret those events. For example, if we lose something important, like a job, a relationship, or a life goal, the emotional impact will be inevitable. However, emotional resilience allows us to reflect on how we interpret this loss and, more importantly, how we can recover from it. For the Stoics, true power lies in the mind, not in external circumstances. By cultivating emotional resilience, we learn to direct our mental energy toward what's within our control, our reactions, thoughts, and attitudes, rather than obsessing over what's beyond our reach. One of the fundamental pillars of Stoicism is the concept of internal and external control. Marcus Aurelius frequently reflected on the importance of distinguishing between what's within our control and what isn't. Our emotional resilience largely depends on our ability to discern between these two realms. This is one of Stoicism's most powerful lessons and remains incredibly relevant in today's world. To illustrate this, think about the various situations you face daily. Can you control other people's behavior? 
Number, can you control unforeseen events happening around you? Also number, but what you can control is how you handle these situations. What Stoicism teaches is that we should focus on our sphere of control, our emotions, thoughts, actions, and reactions, and let go of what's beyond our reach. Marcus Aurelius emphasizes this in his meditations, repeatedly stating that the key to serenity is accepting what we cannot change and directing our energy toward what we can. He reminds us that we're not powerless, even in the face of great adversity, because we can choose our reactions. This doesn't mean we should be indifferent or insensitive to what's happening around us, but rather that we should develop an emotional response that is controlled, rational, and above all, mindful. Marcus Aurelius's wisdom helps us understand that if we keep focusing on what's beyond our control, we'll put ourselves in a position of emotional vulnerability. We'll feel powerless, anxious, and often paralyzed by circumstances. But when we realize we can control our reactions, we start to feel more in command of our lives. This shift in focus is crucial for developing emotional resilience. One of the most impactful passages from Marcus Aurelius's meditations that addresses this idea of internal control and acceptance is the following. Accept the things to which fate binds you and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. This teaching reflects an attitude of active acceptance. It's not about passive resignation or indifference to what happens, but rather about embracing life's events and circumstances with a positive attitude. Loving the people fate has placed around us is another crucial aspect of this quote. Human relationships can be a major source of stress and emotional difficulty, and it's easy to fall into the trap of trying to change others or blaming external circumstances for our frustrations. However, by developing emotional resilience, we learn to deal with people and situations in a healthier way, accepting them as they are, and adjusting our expectations realistically. This acceptance doesn't mean we should simply go along with everything that happens. Marcus Aurelius encourages us to love the circumstances and people we encounter, which implies acting with compassion, understanding, and patience. By adopting this mindset, we avoid unnecessary suffering that comes from resisting things we can't change. Let's apply this concept to a modern day example. Imagine you've just lost your job. Most people's initial reaction would be despair, anger, or frustration, which is totally natural. After all, losing a job can mean financial uncertainty, damage to self-esteem, and fear of the future. But according to Marcus Aurelius's teachings, the most important question isn't, why did this happen to me? Or how will I overcome this? But rather, what can I control in this situation? Marcus Aurelius teaches us that, in situations like this, we need to separate the elements that are within our control from those that aren't. You can't control the fact that you lost your job. That's already happened. It's an external event. However, what you can control is how you respond to that loss. You can control your emotions, choose how to handle them, and most importantly, you can control your actions moving forward. Here's a practical approach rooted in Stoicism. Instead of drowning in thoughts about what you could have done differently or blaming yourself too much, ask yourself what you can do from here on out. How can you use this opportunity to find a new path? Is there something you can learn from this experience? Focusing on what's within your control, your emotions and your next steps, turns a crisis into a chance for growth. Building emotional resilience takes practice and patience. It's not something that comes naturally in every situation, especially when facing big challenges. However, by adopting stoic principles, we can train our minds to respond in a healthier and more rational way to life's difficulties. One way to start building this resilience is to reflect daily on the events that occurred and how you reacted to them. Marcus Aurelius practiced this in his writing, reviewing his days and considering how he could have handled certain situations better. He didn't do this to punish himself, but to grow. By reflecting on the tough situations you faced and acknowledging what was within your control, you can begin to adjust your mindset and emotional responses. Another useful exercise is to identify patterns in your thoughts. 
Often, we get stuck in negative thinking cycles because we don't realize we're ruminating on things outside of our control. By becoming aware of these patterns, we can break them and redirect our energy towards something we can actually change. Our attitude. In today's world, where life moves faster and pressures are constant, developing emotional resilience isn't just desirable, it's essential. We face a flood of information, expectations, and challenges that test our mental and emotional stability every day. On top of that, with the rise of social media, we often compare ourselves to others, which only adds to feelings of inadequacy and failure. By applying Marcus Aurelius's teachings on internal control, we can free ourselves from these external pressures. When we understand that we can't control what others think of us, how global events unfold, or even certain aspects of our fate, we begin to develop an inner strength that helps us face these challenges with more calm. Emotional resilience in the modern context also involves the ability to cope with uncertainty. If there's anything we've learned in recent years, it's that uncertainty is an inescapable part of life. Pandemics, economic crises, natural disasters, all of these events remind us that we have no control over the future. However, Stoicism offers us a way to find peace amid the chaos by focusing on the present moment and how we respond to it. Throughout his meditations, Marcus Aurelius repeatedly emphasizes the importance of living in the present. He states that most human suffering comes from our tendency to dwell on the past or worry about the future. When we focus on what's within our reach in the here and now, we develop a resilience that shields us from the emotional storms caused by uncertainty. The concept of emotional resilience, according to Marcus Aurelius's teachings, is one of the greatest gifts Stoicism can offer to our lives. By learning to discern between what's within our control and what isn't, and by accepting circumstances with compassion and wisdom, we can become stronger in the face of adversity. Resilience isn't about being immune to pain or challenges, but rather about finding the inner strength to keep moving forward, no matter the circumstances. As Marcus Aurelius teaches us, true power lies in our minds, in how we choose to react to what happens to us. By cultivating this mindset, we can live with more peace, clarity, and purpose, even in the chaotic and unpredictable world we live in. The importance of perspective. Marcus Aurelius in his writings in the book Meditations repeatedly emphasized the importance of how we perceive and interpret the events in our lives. To him, Perspective is the cornerstone of emotional resilience. In fact, the way we view a situation can transform something that seems catastrophic into something manageable or even trivial. Stoicism teaches us that often, it's not the events themselves that cause us suffering, but rather our judgment of them. The Stoic view, especially as expressed by Marcus Aurelius, holds that external events are neutral by nature. They simply are. The pain or emotional discomfort we feel doesn't come from the events themselves, but from how we judge them. If we can adjust our evaluation, we can dramatically alter the emotional impact of any situation. Take, for example, a storm. For a farmer, this rain might signify abundance and hope for a prosperous harvest. But for someone about to host an outdoor event, the same storm could represent frustration and a sense of failure. The event, the storm, is the same for both, but their emotional responses are entirely different. What changed was each person's perspective. Marcus Aurelius believed that by controlling our perception of events, we could significantly reduce mental suffering. He wrote, If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it, and this you have the power to revoke at any moment. This quote perfectly encapsulates the Stoic approach to perspective. By recognizing that our judgments are subjective, we also recognize that we have the power to change them. Change how you view situations. Let's consider a practical example from modern life. Imagine you're on your way to an important meeting and end up being late due to traffic. Your initial reaction might be frustration, anger, or even self-criticism. You might start blaming yourself for not leaving earlier or getting angry at the traffic, which is entirely out of your control. This response is understandable, but is it useful? If you take a moment to reflect, you'll realize that the delay has already happened, 
and there's nothing you can do to change the past. The event is entirely beyond your control. What remains under your control is how you emotionally respond to the situation. The delay can be seen as a catastrophe that ruins your day, or it can be viewed as an opportunity to practice patience and resilience. By changing your perspective, you automatically change your emotional response. Instead of letting frustration take over, you can accept that some things are simply beyond your control and that the best course of action is to move forward calmly. This shift in perspective not only alleviates mental tension, but also allows you to handle the situation more rationally and productively. It's important to remember that this change in perspective doesn't happen automatically for most people. Our instinct is often to react emotionally to adversity, but with practice, we can train our minds to take a step back and assess the situation more objectively. And this is exactly what Marcus Aurelius teaches us. We can't control what happens around us, but we can always choose how we react, how our mind distorts reality. An important point about perspective is understanding that our minds often amplify or distort the severity of certain events. This is what modern psychologists call catastrophizing. It's the tendency to believe that something is far worse than it actually is. How many times have you found yourself thinking of the worst possible outcome, even when the chances of that scenario happening were slim? Imagine you gave a presentation at work, and at the end, someone offers constructive criticism about a specific point. A resilient mind would listen to the feedback, learn from it, and move on. But in many cases, an untrained mind might interpret this criticism as a sign of total failure. That one negative comment could overshadow all the praise you received and make you feel like you're not good enough, fueling a cycle of self-criticism and devaluation. Here again, perspective is key. If you train your mind to view criticism as an opportunity for growth rather than proof of inadequacy, your emotional response will be entirely different. Perspective transforms a potential source of stress into a chance to improve and evolve. Practical mental exercise. Will this matter in five years? A simple yet effective exercise for improving your emotional resilience is to ask yourself, will this matter in five years? This technique is incredibly powerful for putting things into perspective. Consider a daily scenario. You're driving and someone cuts you off in traffic. Your first impulse might be anger or indignation, which is a common emotional response for many. But before reacting, ask yourself, Will this really matter five years from now? Will I still be thinking about this incident in the long term? The answer most likely is no. So why spend so much emotional energy on something that, in the grand scheme of things, is insignificant? This question helps us realize that many of our emotional reactions are disproportionate to the actual severity of the event. By applying this mental exercise in moments of stress, we can take a step back and assess the situation more objectively. We see that most of the problems we face on a daily basis aren't as significant as our minds lead us to believe, and this helps us reduce emotional overload. This exercise can also be applied to more serious situations. Imagine you're dealing with a major disappointment, like missing out on a promotion at work. Naturally, this type of event can bring frustration and even sadness. However, by asking, will this matter in five years? You might realize that this promotion doesn't define your worth as a professional. Perhaps in five years, you will have landed an even better opportunity or found a different, more fulfilling path for your career. This exercise in perspective helps you put things into context and prevents you from being overwhelmed by temporary emotions. A change in perspective isn't something that happens overnight. It's a process that requires practice and patience, much like any other skill. But the good news is that our minds are incredibly adaptable. Over time, we can train ourselves to reassess situations in a more balanced and objective way. Here are a few steps that might help you develop this skill. The first step to changing your perspective is being aware of how you're feeling about an event. Take a moment to stop and reflect on your emotions. Are you frustrated, anxious, scared? Identifying your emotions helps you better understand your reactions. Often, our emotional responses are based on assumptions or automatic beliefs. For example, you might believe that if you're late to a meeting, you'll be judged as irresponsible. Ask yourself, is this assumption really true? 
Is there any evidence to support it? Or am I just imagining the worst case scenario? Questioning these beliefs can help you see the situation more clearly. Once you recognize your emotions and question your assumptions, try to reframe the situation. Instead of seeing the event as a disaster, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can I turn this situation into something positive? Practicing gratitude can also help shift your perspective. When we face challenges, it's easy to only focus on what went wrong. But by practicing gratitude, we train our minds to focus on the good things that are still present in our lives, which helps balance our perspective. Many of the problems we face today will seem insignificant over time. Adopting a long-term view helps us stay calm in the face of adversity and prevents us from being consumed by temporary setbacks. Perspective is a powerful tool that shapes our emotional responses. Marcus Aurelius taught that it's not external events that cause suffering, but rather how we interpret them. By practicing a shift in perspective, we can free ourselves from many of the negative emotions that weigh us down and we can develop deep emotional resilience. Training your mind to reassess situations with clarity and objectivity is one of the greatest gifts you can give yourself. When we change our perspective, we change our internal reality. In doing so, we not only become more resilient, but also more peaceful, present, and able to face life's challenges with wisdom and inner strength. As Marcus Aurelius reminded us, we have the power to revoke our judgments and by doing so, we can completely change the way we live and experience the world. Acceptance and love of fate. One of the most profound and transformative lessons we can draw from Marcus Aurelius's teachings is the concept of amor fati, or the love of fate. This principle is a cornerstone of Stoicism and has massive implications for how we deal with life circumstances. In his reflections and meditations, Marcus Aurelius explores how we can learn not only to accept life's events, but to love them. It's not just about passive acceptance of circumstances, but about an active and loving disposition towards everything that happens to us, whether good or bad. But what does amor fati really mean? In essence, it's the idea that we must accept life as it is, including all its challenges, difficulties, and setbacks. This love of fate doesn't imply resignation, but rather a deep understanding that what happens to us is part of the natural course of life. And instead of fighting what we cannot change, we must embrace these events with gratitude and understanding. In Stoicism, there's a constant emphasis on the ever-changing nature of life. Stoic philosophy teaches us that things happen according to natural laws and that our inner peace depends on accepting the flow of life with serenity. Marcus Aurelius, being both a military leader and an emperor, knew what it meant to face intense difficulties, both on the battlefield and in political matters. He dealt with plagues, conflicts, and betrayals, yet he wrote that we must accept what happens to us with an open heart, as it is part of our destiny. This philosophy of acceptance isn't simply an escape from responsibility or an invitation to passivity, but rather an invitation to recognize where our power lies. Stoicism has always distinguished between what is within our control and what is not. Amor Fati focuses precisely on this loving what is outside of our control and not letting it destroy us emotionally. A man who is not troubled by what is outside of his control will find peace. Marcus Aurelius This quote encapsulates the essence of Amor Fati. True inner peace doesn't come from controlling the external world, but from learning not to be disturbed by what we cannot control. When we understand that much of our life is beyond our power, from the weather to other people's behavior, we gain immense freedom. Instead of emotionally exhausting ourselves over what we can't change, we can focus on adjusting our mindset and reactions. By accepting and even loving what happens to us, we free ourselves from unnecessary suffering. Marcus Aurelius teaches us that resistance to the inevitable is one of the greatest causes of pain. We try to fight against fate. We try to shape the world to our desires. But inevitably, we face events that are completely beyond our control. The true wise person, according to the Stoics, is one who deeply understands this truth and instead of becoming upset or anxious, finds peace in acceptance. Now, 
How do we apply this concept of Amor Fati in the modern world? We live in an era of constant change and uncertainty. Challenges such as political crises, pandemics, climate change, and even natural disasters remind us daily that there are many things beyond our control. When we turn on the TV or log on to social media, we're bombarded with news of conflicts, economic crises, environmental disasters, and it's easy to feel powerless in the face of these vast global problems. But it's in precisely these moments that Amor Fati becomes more relevant than ever. It teaches us to accept that we cannot change the course of many global events, and that instead of feeling powerless or hopeless, we should focus on our actions, on what is within our reach. Stoicism reminds us that, although we are a small part of a vast universe, we have the power to shape our responses and attitudes. We can't control what happens in the world, but we can control how we react to it. For example, when dealing with the consequences of climate change, we, as individuals, cannot stop a hurricane or a wildfire, but we can prepare better for these situations, help our communities, and live more sustainably. This is the spirit of Amor Fati. We accept that larger forces are at play, but we find ways to do what is within our power without losing our serenity or our humanity. Another clear example of applying Amor Fati is in the personal realm. Imagine you're facing an unexpected job loss. Many people's first instinct would be to panic, feel betrayed or defeated. However, with a stoic mindset, we can see this event as part of our destiny. We can't change the fact that the job loss happened, but we can choose how to react. We can accept this event as an opportunity to grow, learn new skills, or even find a career more aligned with our values. This shift in perspective, from resistance to loving acceptance, makes us emotionally more resilient. This philosophy is especially useful when facing health problems, both ours and others. The fear of illness or loss can paralyze us emotionally. But by practicing Amar Fati, we accept that life is impermanent and that everyone will face the fragility of the body at some point. This acceptance mentally prepares us to deal with challenges with more serenity and courage. Now that we understand the concept and its application in modern life, how can we actually practice Amor Fati every day? The first step is developing the awareness that life's events, both good and bad, are part of a bigger plan, a plan that is often beyond our immediate understanding. Whenever something unexpected or unpleasant happens, instead of resisting emotionally, stop and reflect. I accept this as part of my journey. This simple act of reflection can completely change how we experience adversity. When something goes wrong, like losing an opportunity or facing personal failure, it's natural to react with frustration or despair. But Stoicism teaches us to see these events as part of a larger whole. The practice of Amor Fadi helps us view challenges as a way to grow and learn. Instead of asking, why is this happening to me? Logically ask yourself, what can I learn from this? Practical exercise. Every time something unexpected or negative happens, try saying to yourself, I choose to love this. This simple phrase serves as a powerful reminder that even in the most difficult circumstances, you can find something positive. Perhaps the event is teaching you patience, resilience, or even humility. Loving fate is about transforming what seems negative into an opportunity for self-discovery and growth. Another important exercise is to reflect daily on the things that happened that were beyond your control. At the end of each day, take a brief pause and mentally or in a journal list all the events you couldn't control but that affected your day. Then ask yourself how you reacted to them and how you could have applied Amor Fati. This regular practice helps cultivate a more resilient and less reactive mindset. Importance of Gratitude in Amor Fati An important aspect of this daily practice is gratitude. Being grateful not only for what goes right, but also for the challenges life presents. Gratitude, when combined with Amor Fati, is a powerful tool to keep us emotionally balanced. Whenever something negative happens, instead of complaining, try giving thanks. This may seem counterintuitive at first, but over time, you'll notice that this practice reconditions your mind to respond with acceptance rather than resistance. Finally, it's essential to understand that Amor Fati is an ongoing practice. 
one that improves over time. In the beginning, it may be difficult to apply this philosophy in every moment of adversity, but the more you practice, the more natural it will become. Gradually, you'll begin to notice that life becomes lighter when you stop fighting the inevitable and learn to welcome what comes with an open heart. Amor Fati isn't just an abstract philosophy, but a practical tool for transforming our life experience. Marcus Aurelius invites us to find peace not in controlling the world, but in controlling our response to it. By accepting and loving fate, we become emotionally more resilient and capable of handling modern life's difficulties with grace and serenity. The daily practice of acceptance, combined with gratitude, teaches us that everything that happens, whether good or bad, is part of our growth. When we embrace this truth, we find an inner strength that sustains us in any circumstance, the art of finding inner peace. Marcus Aurelius, in his writings, constantly emphasized that the true power and control we have in life don't come from external dominance, but from our ability to return to ourselves, find an inner source of peace, and balance our emotions amid the chaotic circumstances around us. To him, the secret to a balanced life lay in cultivating this inner calm, which doesn't rely on external circumstances, but on how we choose to handle them. He faced immense pressure as the emperor of Rome, wars, plagues, and internal conflicts. Yet his reflections in the meditations reveal a man who deeply understood the value of staying calm in the middle of chaos. This wasn't just a theoretical skill, but an active practice he sought to cultivate daily. Marcus Aurelius believed that if the mind can find a state of tranquility, even the most complex and challenging situations can be faced with clarity and serenity. He wrote, Retreat into yourself, especially when you need rest. This quote sums up one of his greatest lessons on emotional resilience. To him, true peace wasn't something to be found in a world of unpredictable and uncontrollable events, but rather an internal construction that depends solely on our perspective and reaction to circumstances. Why is inner peace important in the modern world? In today's world, where we are constantly bombarded by stimuli, social media notifications, tight deadlines, global crises, and personal challenges, finding that inner peace has become more relevant than ever. Many of us live in a state of constant overload, both emotionally and mentally. This feeling of being always on can lead to burnout, chronic stress, and ultimately, a loss of control over our own lives. Inner peace allows us to pause the endless cycle of external stimuli and create a mental space of rest where we can process our emotions, reduce stress, and make more conscious decisions. When we access this state of peace, we become less prone to impulsive reactions and less affected by external events that would otherwise destabilize us emotionally. One of the biggest challenges we face today is the difficulty of switching off. We live in a society that values productivity and constant connectivity. We are conditioned to always be busy, and this often prevents us from withdrawing into ourselves and finding moments of rest and introspection. Marcus Aurelius would remind us that this constant state of busyness is harmful, and true strength comes from the ability to disconnect and recenter the mind. Retreat into yourself, especially when you need rest. This quote from Marcus Aurelius, though simple, carries deep wisdom that is applicable to all times. In the modern world, it can be interpreted as an invitation to introspection and meditation. He's not suggesting that we escape the world or isolate ourselves from our responsibilities. On the contrary, he's encouraging us to find moments of calm in our busy lives so that we can face what lies ahead more strongly and resiliently. When he talks about retreating into yourself, Marcus Aurelius reminds us that within us lies a fortress of peace, always accessible, no matter what's happening outside. This retreat is a moment of renewal, where we can rest and reflect, find clarity, and reorganize our thoughts. This process allows us to regain balance and strength to continue facing life's adversities with more focus and calm. Marcus Aurelius was a master at applying Stoic principles practically. One of the most powerful methods he used to achieve inner peace is what we might call a mental retreat. This technique involves taking regular pauses throughout the day to calm the mind and reconnect with the present. It's a form of stoic meditation, 
which doesn't require long periods of reflection, but rather small moments of rest and introspection throughout the day. Here's a simple guide to practicing this technique in your daily life. You don't need an isolated or special environment. It can be at your workplace, at home, or even during a commute. The most important thing is that you can momentarily disconnect from external stimuli. Close your eyes, breathe deeply and slowly. Breathing is a powerful tool to bring the mind back to the present. As you inhale deeply, feel the air entering your lungs, and as you exhale, feel the tension releasing. Focus all your attention on the present. If you're outdoors, observe the sounds, colors, and textures around you. If you're at home, feel the chair you're sitting on. Listen to distant sounds. The idea is to focus your mind on the here and now, pushing away any intrusive thoughts about the past or future. Ask yourself, how am I feeling right now? What emotions are affecting me? Don't judge these emotions, just observe them. Stoicism teaches us not to repress our emotions, but to understand them and deal with them objectively. After a few minutes of reflection, ask yourself if the challenges you're facing are really as overwhelming as they seem. Marcus Aurelius teaches us that most of our problems come from how we interpret them, not from the problems themselves. By stepping back and analyzing the situation with a calm mind, you'll often find that our worries are amplified by our own perception. This technique of mental retreat not only helps restore your inner peace, but also gives you a new perspective on the problems you're facing. When practiced regularly, it becomes a powerful tool to reduce stress and increase your emotional resilience. Why do we seek inner peace? The ultimate purpose of finding inner peace isn't to avoid problems or become indifferent to what's happening around us. On the contrary, it's the ability to deal with problems more efficiently, with less stress, and greater mental clarity. Marcus Aurelius knew that life would always bring challenges. He himself faced some of the greatest challenges a leader could. However, Stoicism teaches that it's in our response to these challenges that we find our true strength. In the modern world, we tend to think that we need to eliminate all sources of stress to find peace. But the truth is that many of these sources are beyond our control. We can't control other people's actions the state of the economy, or global crises. What we can control is how we react to them. And that's exactly what Marcus Aurelius teaches us. Inner peace is the shield against external adversity. When we can mentally retreat and find that inner calm, we start to realize that we can face almost anything with balance and rationality. Life becomes less a series of chaotic events and more of a journey we can navigate with serenity, no matter what comes our way. The Power of Mental Discipline Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher-emperor who led Rome through times of war and adversity, was a strong advocate of mental discipline, one of the essential pillars of Stoicism. He deeply believed that emotional resilience depended on our ability to cultivate a disciplined and focused mind. To him, the human mind was a powerful tool, but only when properly trained to face life's challenges with serenity and clarity. In the modern world, we are constantly bombarded with information, notifications, and external stimuli. Every minute, new demands reach us, whether through social media, messaging apps, or even at work. This continuous flow of distractions can cause enormous stress and overwhelm our mental capacity. In this scenario, mental discipline is not just desirable, it's essential to maintaining emotional calm and stability. Marcus Aurelius, in his Meditations, often reflected on the importance of keeping the mind steady and focused. He understood that external chaos shouldn't be able to disturb our inner balance, and he believed that this mental strength was the key to true freedom. Emotional resilience, according to him, depended on training our minds to remain anchored, even when the world around us was in turmoil. One particularly powerful quote from Marcus Aurelius on this topic is, Be like a rock against which the waves crash. It stands firm, and the raging of the waters around it is stilled. This metaphor perfectly reflects the concept of mental discipline. Imagine a rock by the sea, constantly hit by violent waves. The waves are life's events, worries, anxieties, distractions. But the rock remains firm, 
unshaken. Similarly, a disciplined mind is one that doesn't get rattled by external circumstances. It stays stable, serene, no matter what happens around it. Marcus Aurelius teaches us that if we cultivate mental discipline, we can face life's challenges with the same stability that the rock faces the sea. The chaos around us may continue, but our mind remains at peace, resistant to the impact of external difficulties. Today, distractions are everywhere. We are always surrounded by social media, non-stop notifications, and a flood of information that overwhelms us. Often we wake up, and before even getting out of bed, we're already immersed in a storm of stimuli, checking emails, looking at messages, updating news feeds, and thus we begin the day with an agitated and scattered mind. In this environment, the question is, how can we maintain emotional resilience amidst so many distractions? The answer lies in creating a routine of mental discipline. Stoicism teaches us that it's possible to train the mind to stay calm and centered, no matter what's happening around us. Think, for example, about how you start your day. Instead of grabbing your phone as soon as you wake up, take a few moments for yourself. Calm your mind before facing external demands. This can be done through practices like meditation, philosophical reading, or even a few minutes of quiet reflection. These practices help strengthen mental discipline, allowing you to face the day with more clarity and balance. Another practical example of mental discipline is setting limits on social media use. Many of us fall into the trap of constantly checking our phones, which results in an overloaded and distracted mind. Setting specific times to check social media can be a powerful step to prevent these distractions from taking over your time and mental energy. By creating this type of discipline, you are training your mind to focus on what truly matters instead of constantly being pulled into a sea of irrelevant information. Mental discipline is a key tool for facing the challenges of the modern world with greater clarity and focus. By cultivating a disciplined mind, you reduce your emotional reactions to external events, strengthening your ability to respond with resilience. This doesn't mean suppressing emotions, but rather learning to control them so that you're not dominated by them. This is a crucial skill in a world where we are constantly being tested in our ability to focus and stay serene. But how can we apply this in practice in our daily lives? There are various ways to develop mental discipline, many of them inspired by the stoic teachings of Marcus Aurelius. Meditation is one of the most effective practices. When you meditate, you train your mind to focus on the present, allowing thoughts to dissipate without judgment or attachment. This practice not only calms the mind, but also trains your brain to better handle distractions and adversities. Another practical example is creating a morning routine. Many modern leaders and thinkers, inspired by Stoicism, recommend starting the day with a series of focused actions that prepare your mind for the challenges ahead. It could be as simple as making a list of priorities, spending a few minutes reading an inspiring book, or practicing gratitude. These small actions have the power to shape your mental state for the rest of the day. In the workplace, mental discipline is also a powerful tool. With tight deadlines and multiple tasks, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. However, by applying the principles of mental discipline, you can structure your day more efficiently, focusing on one task at a time, without letting anxiety or pressure take you off track. One practical example is the use of the time blocking technique, where you set specific blocks of time for each task without interruptions. During these blocks, you devote yourself fully to that activity, avoiding distractions like emails and social media. This not only boosts your productivity, but also strengthens your mental discipline, training your mind to concentrate on what really matters. If you want to start cultivating mental discipline in your life, here's a practical tip. Try beginning your day with a 10 minute breathing focused meditation session. This practice is similar to what the Stoics did to calm their minds and focus on the present. Stoic meditation, though simple, was incredibly powerful in helping to keep the mind calm and disciplined. During these 10 minutes, simply sit in a quiet place, close your eyes, and focus on your breathing. Whenever a thought arises, acknowledge it and gently return your attention to your breath. At first, this might seem difficult as your mind is used to wandering. However, with daily practice, you'll start to notice a change. Your mind will become calmer and more centered, 
and you'll be better prepared to deal with distractions and challenges throughout the day. This simple practice of daily meditation can become the anchor that helps stabilize your mind amidst chaos. Over time, you'll notice that your ability to handle intense emotions, make difficult decisions, and deal with stressful situations improves significantly. This happens because you are training your mind not to react automatically to stimuli, but to choose how to respond more consciously and serenely. Additionally, consider complementing your meditation practice with reading philosophical texts, such as Marcus Aurelius's Meditations. The daily reading of passages that inspire you and remind you of the power of mental discipline can serve as continuous reinforcement for your emotional and mental development. Just like we train the body, the mind also needs regular training to stay strong and resilient. Mental discipline, as Marcus Aurelius taught us, is the foundation upon which we build our emotional resilience. In a world where we are constantly bombarded with distractions, cultivating this discipline is one of the most effective ways to maintain our inner peace. We cannot control everything that happens around us, but we can control how our mind responds to these events. And it is through daily practice, whether meditation, reading, or simply the conscious choice of where to focus our attention, that we can strengthen this ability. By implementing these practices into your life, you'll find yourself becoming more like the rock Marcus Aurelius spoke of, firm, stable, unshaken by the turbulent waves of life. The Value of Impermanence It's one of the most fundamental realities of life, and understanding this concept deeply is essential for building emotional resilience. In Stoic philosophy, Marcus Aurelius often meditated on the fact that everything in life, people, events, emotions, is temporary. For him, this realization was not a cause for despair, but for liberation. Accepting impermanence helps us handle loss, failure, unexpected changes, and even success with balance, without clinging too much to life's highs and lows. The reality is that, in the modern world, we are often led to chase an illusory sense of control and permanence. We want the good moments to last forever and fight against the idea that bad things can happen. This attachment to permanence and the fear of temporary can cause us unnecessary suffering. Marcus Aurelius, on the other hand, invites us to embrace the natural flow of life with serenity. As Stoicism teaches, accepting impermanence is not a passive stance. On the contrary, it's a way of preparing ourselves emotionally for life's inevitable ups and downs. When we recognize that pain, success, happiness, and even difficulties are transient, we gain a mental clarity that shields us from emotional turbulence. This gives us the ability to maintain balance, whether in moments of joy or sadness. A key quote from Marcus Aurelius, everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. This quote, one of Marcus Aurelius's most profound, reminds us that our perception of things is often subjective. The emotions we feel in response to life events are linked to how we interpret those events, not the events themselves. This is crucial when we talk about impermanence because external things are largely neutral. It's our interpretation of them that gives them emotional weight. For example, a rainy day might be perceived as depressing by someone who had outdoor plans, or as a refreshing relief by someone who enjoys cloudy weather. This perception shapes our reactions and emotions. When we train ourselves to observe that our judgments are just an interpretation of reality and not the absolute truth, we begin to develop mental flexibility and a more resilient mindset. With that, we also learn to face life's challenges with greater serenity, recognizing that, just like opinions, situations are also temporary. When we apply this wisdom to the concept of impermanence, it gives us a new perspective on facing adversity. If we understand that our experiences are ultimately just a part of the continuous flow of life, we can let go of the need to control everything and everyone around us. And with that comes emotional relief. At the heart of accepting impermanence lies detachment. For the Stoics, detachment does not mean indifference or lack of emotions. On the contrary, detachment is a conscious way of living fully, without being consumed by emotional extremes. 
Marcus Aurelius reminds us that emotional resilience strengthens when we learn to let go of excessive attachment, whether it's to people, situations, or feelings. Detachment is, therefore, a way of practicing emotional freedom. When we understand that everything is temporary, we have less fear of losing what we have, and we can appreciate the present more. This is crucial for a balanced life, as it frees us from the suffering caused by excessive attachment. At the same time, it allows us to savor each moment more deeply and genuinely. Think about how modern culture often encourages attachment. Attachment to success, fame, materialism, and even people. This attachment generates anxiety because deep down, we know that all of it can disappear. Stoic detachment, on the other hand, teaches us to appreciate things for what they are without becoming emotionally dependent on them. When you live with detachment, it's like being constantly prepared for change. This doesn't mean expecting the worst, but accepting that life's cycle brings both good moments and challenges. Detachment allows you to go through these cycles with more resilience without being overwhelmed by the inevitability of change. Now imagine you've gone through a significant loss. It could be the death of a loved one or the end of an important relationship. The first emotional reaction, naturally, is despair. We feel that something that was part of us has been ripped away and the pain of absence seems unbearable. However, as we internalize the concept of impermanence, we realize that the pain is also temporary. It teaches us that just like the natural cycle of things, pain will also run its course. Rather than fighting against what has happened or desperately trying to fix the unfixable, accepting impermanence invites us to experience the pain fully, but with the confidence that it won't last forever. Marcus Aurelius teaches us that accepting change is a way of preparing for whatever life will bring. When we accept the transience of pain, we begin to understand that it too has an end. Similarly, when something positive happens, like an important achievement or a moment of extreme happiness, Stoicism teaches us to remember that this too is temporary. This doesn't mean we shouldn't enjoy those moments, but rather that we shouldn't cling to them as if they were eternal. This understanding prevents us from suffering from the emotional fall that can come after great moments of happiness. We know that life flows and that after joy, new challenges may come. And that's okay. This practical perspective on impermanence allows us to face adversities with more serenity and resilience. We know that the pain of loss or change is not the end, but a part of life's continuous process. This kind of detachment gives us the strength to keep moving forward. One powerful way to apply the concept of impermanence in your daily life is through reflection exercises. Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, dedicated time every day to reflect on the transience of things. By doing this, he prepared himself mentally and emotionally for inevitable changes. Here is a simple exercise you can incorporate into your daily routine. Take a few minutes of your day, in a quiet environment, to reflect on something in your life that worries or causes you anxiety. Ask yourself, will this matter a year from now? Five years from now? This simple question can radically change your perspective on the situation. Often, what seems enormous in the moment becomes insignificant over time. For example, think of a situation where you felt deeply frustrated or upset. It could have been an argument at work, a mistake you made, or even a misunderstanding in a relationship. Now reflect on how much that situation really matters now. If several months or years have passed, you probably realize that the emotional impact was much greater at the moment than it is now. This practice teaches us that many of our problems are amplified by our minds and how we react in the heat of the moment. By regularly applying this exercise, you train your mind to see things with more clarity and less emotional attachment. This increases your emotional resilience because it teaches you not to get hung up on minor annoyances that, in the long run, are irrelevant. Another exercise is to write about the moments in your life that brought great joys and great challenges. By rereading these reflections later, you'll start to notice how both moments of happiness and difficulty passed and left lessons behind. This exercise not only brings a more objective view of life, but also helps you appreciate each moment more consciously. Ultimately, 
Accepting impermanence teaches us to live in harmony with the natural flow of life. Changes are inevitable, but our resistance to them is optional. The secret to a balanced and emotionally resilient life lies in learning to accept this flow without clinging to the past or fearing the future. Marcus Aurelius offers us powerful advice. Accept the things to which fate binds you. This means we must learn to embrace what life brings us with all its imperfections and uncertainties. This act of acceptance is, paradoxically, one of the deepest forms of emotional freedom. When we understand that everything is transient, we begin to live with more lightness. We stop carrying the weight of the past and the anxiety of the future and focus on the present. This gives us the opportunity to live more fully without the fear of losing what we have or being overwhelmed by the challenges to come. Throughout this video, we explore the profound lessons of Marcus Aurelius on how to develop emotional resilience in the modern world. We talk about internal control, the importance of perspective, accepting fate, and the pursuit of inner peace. These stoic strategies aren't just philosophical concepts, but practical tools you can apply to your everyday life. Each one can be implemented simply, but the results will be powerful. If these lessons resonated with you, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss more videos on how to apply Stoic philosophy to your life. Drop a comment about which of these strategies you're most excited to try and share this video with someone who could benefit from this wisdom in their life. Thank you for watching. Remember, emotional resilience is a skill that can be trained and as Marcus Aurelius taught us, you have power over your mind, not over what happens around you. See you in the next video. Take care and God bless.